speaking of animals, so the next day, so we're home uh, chilling out. And my wife asked me and my kids to take out our trash, the trash, right? So we take out the trash. And when you go into the alley, there's two big dumpsters. And then and then there's two another dumpster far off to the right. And I go to that one. That's the dumpster I go to. So I throw all the trash away in there. And then my wife goes up to the, in our, you know, we have this guest house, which has been our dog rescue the ho- for the last four or five years until the new building opens. And she comes running into the house. Oh, my God. I went to go take out the trash for the dog rescue. And out she went to the trash cans on the left. She goes, and they were empty. The big bins in the alley. You know those huge yeah. bins, right? Mm-hmm. So she opens that up to go throw the dog trash in. And she hears a noise and she looks in there and there's a rat. Oh. And it's all by itself. It's all by itself running in the trash can. No. There's, no, there's nothing oh, in there. Get out. Yeah, but it's stuck. And she so she just threw the trash and took off running. That's what I would do. That's what I would do. I'd be like, hey, I'm throwing in the trash. There's probably some food in there. Yeah. You can survive off of that, but I'm out of here. I'm sort of surprised. I would have thought she would have rescued the rat and it would be living in the uh, in the uh, guest house. <laughs> so she comes in to tell me about it. I'm like, oh my God, oh my God. It's, and, I'm like, and you know, I didn't get off the sofa. Well, it's, you know, it's a rat. So I'm figuring rats must, uh, must be common for rats. They live off the trash. They mm-hmm. get in, they get out. So cut to yesterday. She went to the grocery store and she bought all, all the drinks that we have, you know, the Gatorade, the vitamin waters, and we had to put them in the fridge. So when I, in the fridge in the garage, so when I go to put them in the fridge in the garage, there's a giant cake in there. And the cake is from when my son Jake became an Eagle Scout on Monday, a week ago. So I take the cake out. And since it's there, I decide might as well just eat some of it. So I go to eat some of it and it's old and it's gross, right? Like, this is gross. So I just leave it in the kitchen. So my wife goes to throw it away and she takes it into the alley into the garbage can. She opens it up and the rat's still running. No! <laughs> she just throws the cake in there. So now she's feeding the rat. Yeah. It's going to be huge. The rat's like, this is great. <laughs> I just Thank got you, a whole lady. cake. I'm so chill out of here. Like, you know, it's unbelievable. Rat's got this huge birthday cake. A little smorgasbord. It's like the, it's like the rat in... The pig movie. What is that? Templeton. Templeton. Yes. Templeton and, and uh, Charlotte's Web. Yeah. Anyway. So then I also went to this weekend. I went to this... Uh, so my son Jake is into MMA and Muay Thai and Jiu Jitsu, and there was this Jiu Jitsu tournament that his trainer was fighting in. And it's funny how my son Jake just he makes plans in his head. You know, he's like, "Oh, Dad's taking me," and and this is like 15 minutes ago, and I don't know anything about it. But I got nothing going on, so I'm like, "Yeah, I'll take you." So it's a half hour drive. So I've never been to a Jiu Jitsu tournament before. And I walk in to this thing, and it is massive. There's like thousands of people at this event, right? And there's four or five matches going on at the same time. And it's not like a basketball tournament where like, or, or, or any tournament where there's like a whistle that's blown and it's like, you know, national anthem and whatever. It just, they start all at different times on the mat and, and the coaches are right there yelling at the players. It as depends. they do. You seen it before? I've seen, well, I've seen, I've gone to wrestling matches where it, it's kind of like that, but I've seen a lot of the jujitsu on TV and it's intense. Like I would love yeah, to go see it. So intense. And then I was looking around at everybody. And this is the first sport I've ever seen where all the spectators are badasses. <laughs> like all the spectators. Like they got tats, they got arm muscles, oh. they've got cool clothes on, their t shirts <laughs> are really cool, they got cool haircuts. Like I was totally out of place as a spectator in this place. Like I was I was looking at all the people watching and I was like, Oh my god, that guy is so cool. Like just the people that were there were cool. But anyway, it was amazing to see Jake Trainer. And then there was this girl. She was in front of me, and she was yelling, "Come on, brother! You got this, brother! You can do it, brother!" And I was like, "Wow, you know, like you know how the, like the WWE guy, come on, brother, man! You know how they yell, brother!" <laughs> yeah. And she's like, "You can do this, brother! I got you! You've been training hard, brother!" And then finally, I was like, she turned around and she's, "Oh, I listen to the show." And I go, "So who is that?" She goes, "That's my brother." 